Hello everyone, I'm your host Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Batman the Telltale series. I don't know what this episode is called. Doesn't really matter. Save the city. I'm gonna be really mad if there's a scene transition here, and that's when I pop. Damn it! Done that there. Gotham, and Gotham. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Oh, Harvey Dent. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, Jesus, this city has he's like a brick shit house. Look Green at him. Under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. All right, well, one of these people in the crowd is a bad well, Mr. guy. Mr. Wayne, my Naturally. campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Well, Bruce Wayne typically is funnier than Batman. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up, and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Batman serious, Bruce Wayne funny. I'll remember that. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know... God, look at him. He means a giant. I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. Oh, this is so hard, some of these. I'd... Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? <laughs> This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for fun. Oh, he's running for mayor. Now all I need is a decent slogan. Did Harvey Dent ever do terrible that? Terrible with those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Ooh. Which, for the record, I have not been since. That well, one's good. That one's all really right, good. All right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. Yeah. I'm gonna use that. Yeah. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime. Where children can play in the like streets again. That's what I words. want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. Oh. Bad guy? Good guy? Important person? Oh my god, that dress looks like it's made of plastic. Straight from the bottle, huh, buddy? Hans. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. Yay. After all. Whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall. 
That Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn that? West. Oh, Bobby. Penguin's rich family. Was a penny? Seems penny getting cranky. Penny? No, that's Alfred. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes, and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Well, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. <laughs> uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. They put a lot of details in that old guy's Thomas wrinkles. And Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery. Oh, good. Yeah, so bring it up. That'll make him feel it good. It was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age. Must have been crippled. Why do old people do this? If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment. Maybe. Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. I'm slowly convincing them to like Harvey. You'll have it. Thank you. And thank you both. Hey. God, that chin. I could crack diamonds with it. I'm not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ring. I'm good at schmoozing. And terrible hand motion. Hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. It's so formal. Call me Bruce. That's right. He's well, kind of acts like Bruce, a woman. No, not a womanizer. Going around but pleasing everyone tonight. A flirt when he's Bruce Wayne, I think. How are you doing? Why would you, you ask that? You should enjoy that? your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? Well, I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year-round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing, it just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. <laughs> That's right, Excuse distractions. Me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Who is this? Carmine Falcone? Oh, is no. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Dent? Falcone never goes well for you. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham well, for all of us. He's gonna throw necessary evil all over your him face out before you kick him out. Half your I've face. I only requested to speak with you directly. Maybe he can change your mind. I don't like this hard, but I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Ooh. Yeah, well, I'll just make sure this one doesn't hang you. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. I can do that. I'm good at that. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. 
though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Yeah, I'll shake your hand, you greasy Bruce son Wayne. of a bitch. I know who you are. The guy who's gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Ugh, he just looks like a zit with a suit. You should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. I'll, I'll bring Bruce back to you soon. Don't do this alone. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get a drink. I'm trying not to put you in harm's way. The less you're near Christ. Falcone, the better. All right, turtleneck. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. Ooh, nice tie. You may be a but sleazeball, but... in my but... experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? Falcone, you don't know shit but about I'd doing right. I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. I understand more than you know. Good. You look smart. You dress smart. Glad it adds up to something. Not gonna mean. piss off Falcone. Not gonna do it. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. Boy, good so, thing someone set up this pool. Let's here. talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine. This is me. Yeah, it looks like you. These are all my friends in Gotham. You all. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. If you're gonna go bald, just shave the whole head. Don't leave weird side parts. Let's see if you make anything in. I make in. them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Potentially? We a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. For Gotham. For our city oh i'm everyone's friend which means you're really no one's Ooh. pick a lane before you have a head-on collision everyone has good like Listen anecdotes me, kid. i know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation money gets money the risks the alliances the hidden costs your father knew which hands to shake And which to break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Yay, we're all buddy-buddy and you're an evil piece of shit. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce, while this city's still standing. I think that went well, all things considered, and all people factored in. Oh, okay, we're done with the intro. Ooh, that font is very reminiscent of, like, the old cartoon. Or I guess, which is reminiscent of the old comics? I'm not sure. I've never really been super into DC, but I did like Batman. 
Why am I... Oh, I thought he was laying down. He just rinsed against the wall. Up and at him, Brucey. Are we in Wayne Labs? No? It's me. Batcave? Oh, Batcave. Okay, Batcave. Matthew Leach. What an unfortunate last name. Oh, I bet he can track the grappling hook. Did you know it's episode one? I couldn't tell. Okay, I know the name of the episode now. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are... Oh, why would you keep those right there? Why would you keep those, of all things? See what she was really after. Batman, you can't steal the stuff. Also, what is this thing? It's like an MP3. I can move! Right, I forgot that's a thing in Telltale. Alright, let's look at the. Goodness, look at all this stuff. Can I actually... Oh, wow. Holy shit. Uh, so uh, age 26. I'm 26. He's 26? Oh, no. He became district attorney. Wait. God, Harvey Dent in this game is 26? He looks like he's, f like, 40. Oh, Zellerbach. Okay. Oh, what was that about some guy dead? Codex. Oh, this is just the thing. Who is this? Oh, this is Falcone? No, who is this? Oh, this is the mayor. What's wrong with the city? Okay. Who else is new? Vicky? Jesus, what is happening in the city? Falcone. Why does that sound familiar? Who's Muldoon? Mayor Hill's Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today, making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. Muldoon, who the hell are they? Was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve the city's aging buildings, some of which have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight, and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry. It probably isn't anything you did wrong. And if you I don't know. believe it, now you can't even trust the valets. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime. Alright, enough of the TV. TV's bad for you. What else do we have here? Ooh, gadgets. Spare grapple. What are these? Oh, sticky tasers. Jolt or knock out electricity in the area. I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. Hey, you said her name. The newest addition. What is this? The program has revealed trace elements in a confined space. Trace elements of what? 
Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. That was your test run? You didn't think to try it before? Batarang! I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. He said the line, a dent in crime. Yay! Alright, well I guess, is there anything else in here? Oh, wow, you can explore the entire... Okay, well, I'll continue doing this in the next episode, so thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon, but until then, bye.